I'm going to go through a trad climbing rack that I would carry on a mid-grade multi-pitch trad route in the UK. Um, this is a very personal thing, so what I've got here some people might add to or take away from or even add gear in that they particularly like to carry. But this gives us a starting point. So I'll go through the hardware to begin with and I'm carrying two sets of wires. One set are DMM walnuts and the other is Wild Country Rocks. And that not only gives me a range of sizes, but also shapes for managing that protection. I've got them grouped into sizes. So here I've got the smaller wires. And again, I've doubled up. So I've got two ones, two twos and two threes. Then the medium wires, I'm going from fours through to five and six. And on the larger wires, again from seven, eight and nine, and 10 and 11 are on their own separate snap gate. What I've aimed to do here is to group them, obviously in sizes, but also to make sure I don't overload the, the snap gate, all right, and risk dropping some gear down the route. So for protecting the bigger cracks, I've got DMM torque nuts here, which are a style of hex. These are on wire as well, so that still allows you to play slightly above your head uh, and one-handed, which is useful. And if I manage to get the bigger size in on a route, that's always very, very satisfying. Actually getting something really big like that, that's a bomb-proof bit of gear. I've got a full set of camming devices and I've got some black diamond camelots here. Now these are quite, quite quick to place, however they do require judgement to make sure that it's a good placement. And for, depending on the route that I'll be going on to, I might add some specialist bits of kit to that. So for example, if I think I'm going onto a, a slightly bold route, uh, but I think I can arrange some smaller pieces of gear, then I've got a, a snap gate with some RPs and some micro wires on here. If I wanted to extend again to the smaller end of the camming range, then I'm carrying uh, a couple of aliens. And if I was going onto a particular rock type that uh, gave me the flared crap, such as granite, then a set of DMM offsets can work really well. So they've got a slightly wider profile at the front to the back of the wire. Some important pieces of kit to carry are slings. Uh, and again, I've got a range here. So I'm carrying five in total. I've got one 240 centimetre sling and then four 120 centimetre slings. But I've also got two aramids and two Dyneema slings in there as well. And each one has a screw gate, which will be useful at the below. To attach that hardware then to the rope, I am carrying 14 quick draws. Now that does mean that's 28 carabiners, which is an awful lot. And what I've gone for is a lightweight carabiner to help save on weight there. And this is a DMM Phantom. Just let that go through. It's definitely a good day for flying today. Because they're lightweight, then it does mean that they can be susceptible to getting some rough edges. So if I'm clipping that into gear uh, or a bolt, then we can get some rough edges in the corner there. What I wouldn't want to happen then is for that to end up where the rope is going to run. So what I've done on the quick draws is made sure I've got silver carabiners to go into the gear and then a coloured carabiner, which is always going to be going onto the rope.
with those quick draws then what's really important is that i've got a range of lengths so i'm only carrying two short quick draws and then i've got eight medium length quick draws and four sling draws so the sling draws are pretty versatile in that you can keep them short or if i wanted to lengthen them out to reduce any rope drag that i might be having on my rope then I can clip the bottom carabiner off, clip it onto there and extend it out. Easy enough to fold away just by passing the carabiner through the other and then clipping onto the other end. Like so. so a couple of extra carabiners for the belay that will come in useful. And then finally a rescue carabiner with two prussics and a knife, a nut key for removing stubborn bits of gear, and also a belay plate, not forgetting that. That may seem like an awful lot of gear, but if we think when we're multi-pitch climbing, we will need a belay at the bottom, then the gear to place in the pitch itself, which could be quite long, and also enough gear at the top to create a, a good belay. So you can easily lose most of your rack into just climbing that one pitch. Because it is a lot of gear, what we will need to make sure is that I've got a really good system for putting it onto my harness.